Okay, I'm first going to show the complete operation of our trailing point signal at the east end loop interlocking. And you will see, pretty much you'll see how the signal is going to operate based on train movement. So, here we go. As you can see, once the train passes it, it switches to a red. This is because the train is in the detector circuit. Now, once the train leaves the immediate detector circuit, the signal will upgrade to a approach indication. There it goes right there, upgrading to an approach. And once the train exits the preceding block, the second block ahead, it will upgrade to a clear. Here we see it upgrade to a clear. And that's our basic operation for that signal for a westbound movement. Now let's take a look at an eastbound movement. Okay, here's the basic operation of a eastbound movement for the westbound east end loop main line signal, the trailing point signal. Now basic operation here is as soon as I give the train throttle it immediately goes to red and this is because the detector circuit preceding the signal detects a reverse current which opposes the governing signal therefore the signal goes red And we'll be back when the train shows up. Our eastbound stone train is now approaching. As you can see, the signal's still red. Here comes our eastbound. Our signal will remain red until, pretty much until I take away the throttle power. It never changes or never upgrades to a clear or anything. And once I dethrottle the train, the signal well, returns to a yellow, then returns to green. And once again, we are back in standby mode at the interlocking. Now let's take a little look at our dwarf signals. Well, as I said before, these are at the interlockings, and they're interlocked with the switch system. And the reason that this one is showing you red is because, like I said before, switch is thrown against this, against the branch. I'm also working on installing some circuitry so when the train goes across the diamond, this signal will also switch to red as well. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to throw switches at east end and west end loop. Now, as you can see, once I threw the switch at east end loop, the signal upgrades from a stop indication to a flashing green. 
Now a low flashing green is a medium clear modeled after CNO uh, signal aspects. Now let's take a look at this guy in action. As you can see it has downgraded to a approach. Now this is because of the reverse loop wiring. Now once I throw the reverse loop it will go back to a flashing green and then to a red as the train passes it. This signal will also upgrade to a approach once the train enters the second block preceding the signal. We'll zoom in so you can see the light a little better. As you can tell I have to paint the backs of these signals. But here it is showing a medium approach indication aspect and once the train exits the second block it will upgrade to a medium clear once again. And there you have it.